Guys, please subscribe to my channel. This is Philly Dom. I'm coming to you from Bogota, Colombia, from Selena's Hostel. And I'm here with a beautiful young lady. Uh, what's your name? Carla. Carla. And guess what Carla's from? Where are you from? I'm from the uh, U.S. I live in Boston. Oh, okay. And I'm from Philadelphia. Yeah. And, you know, of course, the channel. I know. And the, and the channel is Philly Dom. I, got, I have one question for you today, Carla. Yeah, go for it. You're a female. You're from the you're from the states, and you're traveling in Colombia. I am, yeah. I've yeah. been in Colombia for like five weeks now. Um, I'm alone pretty much the whole time. One of my friends came down mm -hmm. and was here for about a week. Oh, that was. Otherwise, I've been alone. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm doing good. Okay, you know the, the question. It's the elephant in the room question. <laughs> I feel safe? Yes, do you feel? How do you know that? How do you know I was going to say that? <laughs> uh, yeah, feel? I've always felt pretty safe. I've traveled alone quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. And I've always felt pretty safe. I think you have to be pretty careful, but no more careful than if you're in the U.S. and walking alone at night. Or, you okay, so you don't, you don't feel no problems here and you don't feel no real safety issues? No, and, and I, think I, I think I try harder to be I try harder to be safe here. Like, I'm definitely more aware of my surroundings here um, than I would be maybe in the U.S. Or just a, more aware of, like, what time I'll be walking places or stuff like that. But I've never, I've never felt, like, really unsafe or anything. Okay. But, I mean, everyone hears, everyone hears stories, but I haven't. You haven't I haven't faced experienced anything. anything like that. And you walk outside alone and you go places you don't go with a... Somebody that you meet at the hostel, you go alone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I walk places alone, definitely. So. Yeah, but we're in this place called Chapinero, and it's pretty safe. It's yeah. a pretty safe area right here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was walking around before, and I always felt really safe. I mean, there's just so many people in the city. So it's, okay. like, hard to really be alone at any point. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's millions and millions. <laughs> yeah. I think they have, like, over 8 million or 9 million people. Here's a lot of people. Yeah, I think it's... Okay, and I have one, and this is the last question I'm gonna ask you and I'll let you go. Cause I know you're cooking, I'm so, oh shit, look at the food. <laughs> Chef, the, the last question is hostel life. I'll be, I'm trying to tell my friends back home. Hostel life. Yeah, yeah, what do you think of hostel life? Cause it's a lot cheaper and you meet yeah. a lot more people. Yeah, what do I you like think hostels. Of it? I think, I don't, I wasn't, I haven't seen hostels the whole time I've been traveling. Cause mm -hmm. I think they can get kind of tiring. Yeah. Um, but in general, I like them and it's nice to, kind of have a place to meet people and meet other travelers. And usually hostels are really good about like providing activities or even just advice for things to do in the city. So it's kind of like you're staying like with a local, so you get like better local advice and it's less like you're just on your own in the city. So. Oh, okay, I agree with you 100%. <laughs> Thank you for doing this interview with me on no Philly Dom's YouTube channel, <laughs> Boston. So uh, once again, please subscribe to my channel and please give this video a like and could you wave bye to the camera. Bye. Have a night. <laughs> thank you. And we'll just look at you cooking one more time. <laughs> and that's the end of the, the video, guys. Once again, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>